Okay. So, the Hellbent devs invited me to join a group of content creators in a media preview of VHS. We were given the opportunity to play the game in order to provide our thoughts on how the game felt to play. And let me tell you, I haven't had so much fun losing in a long time. Space Coconut. Me being who I am, of course dove headfirst into Dollmaster with absolutely no muscle memory for buttons and even less map knowledge. The first map was me flailing to figure out buttons and understand some of the stuff that I was seeing on the screen, while at the same time trying to place dolls and hide the main body from the teens. By the end of the match I was shaking and trembling the same way I did when I first played Dead by Daylight. Once I had a better idea of what I was doing, I still lost, but I could tell where my mistakes were and what I needed to learn. And that's when I realized that I was enjoying the experience for what it was. VHS shares similarities with Dead by Daylight, but once you start, you quickly realize that you're playing a completely different game that will provide its players with a myriad of different experiences. In one of my matches, I had three teens down and was looking for the last. It was all over, but one of the teens was able to get up and in turn pick up the others. They worked really hard to stay hidden as they made their weapons, and when they did, I found myself being hunted by them. The power of the game flows back and forth between the monster and the teens, and finding a way to navigate that shift in power to regain it is the real test of skill in the game. A good player is going to need to deal with the opposing side when they're at their weakest and their strongest. Only experience will help with that, but let me tell you, it's fun to play. Aside from that, the devs put together an all-star sweat team for an exhibition match which helped me realize another important factor. I don't know how much you enjoy watching the gameplay in the background, but watching the matches live is very entertaining. If you're a content creator or a viewer, you'll probably have a good time making and watching a VHS stream. All of the matches between dev and content creator were a joy to watch, which I think is a big plus for the game. There's very little dead time and it feels like both roles are on the move at all times. After yesterday, I found myself wanting to play again simply to improve. I took a look around the rest of the things available and found that while I really like Dollmaster and love starting out playing the difficult characters right away, it's a really, really good idea to start with the other characters. I should add that I did play as Jess for a few matches, and that was an enjoyable experience too. I don't like being the weak link in a team but I enjoyed playing the role. There was a tense atmosphere to crafting weapons and knowing that the monster was chasing teammates, or even worse, that they didn't know where it was. Hits felt fair, and I even eventually learned to keep running after getting hit. While I'll still be gravitating towards the monster role, you're going to find me playing team just as much in order to unlock their cosmetics, but not for the reason you might think. Remember how you as a monster have 15 seconds to delay your transformation? In the lobby, the other teens see you as a teen, which means that if you're still rocking the default cosmetics, they might automatically assume you're the monster and ruin any plans you might have had for the start of the match for a surprise ambush on your fellow teens. I really enjoyed the matches I played last night and I'm eager to jump in again with the easier monsters as soon as I can, not just because it's tactically a good idea, but because I'm having fun. For the time being, I'll keep sharing how the game feels as I discover new things and keep up with a bit of speculation on the things that I don't know. When we're allowed to share more information, you know that I will, so look forward to that. Oh, I should also note that out of all of the matches that I played last night, I didn't encounter a single bug, a single glitch, a single error. There might have been some stuff that went wrong that I didn't notice, but I didn't notice it. So there's that. Check out the videos from the other content creators that are part of this media preview if they pop up on your feed and get their take on it. Some of them have weeks of experience and different perspectives than I do, so that can help temper your excitement or fuel it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and feel free to ask questions. I'll answer what I can and pass on other questions to the devs. I already asked them about buying characters and their response was encouraging and understanding, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that ends up looking like. I'll start to ask the hard questions as they pop up so that'll be fun. 
the devs get to look forward to that one. Anyway, rambling over, I appreciate you folks, and thanks to you Hellbent devs for giving me this opportunity to play your game. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm Space Coconut, and you're welcome.